actual photo of the 50 year anniversary of the school in 1987. I went to school here in 1963. My wife went here, my brothers and sisters, my kids. We're going to have any steps to the gymnasium. A bunch of creepy dolls, my favorites. <laughs> my wife's been buying them for me. I'm going to decorate a whole room with that for dolls. <laughs> this is the special needs room. Another very hot room. This is dead. All six kids, three on each side. And it's an actual desk from here. With this part right here, the darkest part of the hallway, even in daylight.
and pleasant med investigating all of you. The weird green mountain papers. <laughs> this classroom right here, they reported several times the locker door was slammed. And there's no doors on none of those lockers. So that's kind of that's strange. <laughs> We'll go back down to the work break room. So living here, what's like your most memorable freaky thing that's happened? Personally. Personally, we like this room here is above our living room. That room there is above our kitchen. That room there is above our bedroom. And we hear things walking across the ceiling. And so I'll start watching that another camera right there. We'll start watching the camera and nothing ever comes out or you never see anything. You'll see like, I'm, I call it pixelations in the cameras, but it looks like something comes out and goes like this and then it'll go back in, but you can see through it. So some people tell me it's not pixelation. I'm telling you that's something looking out. And I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, but I try to find a reason for everything I can that's sure. here. And I guess mostly because I live here, and to me, when people first told me this place was haunted, I was like the Hollywood haunt guy. You know, the, the walls should be closing in, the hallways keep getting longer and longer, and you can't get out. And ain't nothing like that. And I've done a few investigations with people, and it's the most peaceful thing in the world. I keep, I see everything I see is like over here and over here. And if you look at it, it's not there anymore. But I'm learning if I can make myself slowly adjust my eyes, I can almost get to a point where I can really see it. But if I go too far, it goes away. But I can't, every time I look straight at something, it's not there anymore. I will see things pop up and down in the door to our living room or something. And there's never nothing there because we can watch on the camera. Right. There's nothing out there, but you keep seeing this head pop up through the, you know, out of peripheral vision. But, uh, my wife got her neck breathed on and uh, felt the hot breath off of it. That kind of freaked her out a little bit. It was on that stairs right here as I got chained pissed off. She was painting. And she got halfway up and quit. She says that's all she was going to paint. But
noise, but, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, like I could sometimes hear kid talking, but I wasn't sure. I thought I heard Joe or Joseph. Well, that's what I said. Right, like, right at when they said, we said hello, and then I said hello to you, too. Do you want to um, go try it in the basement in the McDonald's room where it's supposedly pretty hot? Just by Alex. K2 was going on. All the way up to the right. Can you do that again? Who keeps going by Alex? You guys playing? They keep playing with the K2. But then every time they try to tell you guys that it's happening, they stop. Let's just hope we get some good EVP. McDonald's table, there was a couple times where the K2 was just sitting there doing nothing, all of a sudden it went bing, bing, but as soon as I would turn on the camera to see it, it would, it would stop. Yeah, because I was sitting right next to it, and it would light all the way up to red, and it would just sit there, so the first time, I'm like, okay, well, maybe, because we had the issue with you before, where it was reading those readings off the ground, and it was constant, and it looked constant, so I grabbed it, and it stopped, and I put it back, and it didn't do it again, so I let, let it alone start doing it again all the way up to red. And, and, then, every, and, and, and then every time I'd be like, hey guys, look at this, it would stop. It would stop. <laughs> I put thermal on you though and I saw, I saw I could see it going off. But yeah, nothing There's something thermal. here that doesn't like to be filmed, okay? Mm -hmm. And maybe even ask it, does the camera bother you? And the flashlight would come on or the K2 would go mm -hmm. off or whatever. And they would lay the camera down, turn the cameras off. And then it would start doing everything you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Like, it don't yeah, want like, to be filmed, but I'll do whatever you want. You right, know? right. It's weird. I, I don't know how to explain it. We are at Post Town. It's about 2 in the morning. It's been pretty quiet so far, but we're going to split up and go out on our own and see what we get. I'm uh, headed down on the main floor towards the principal's office. I'm going to head down into the uh, basement, see if I find down there. And I'm going to go investigate the gigantic upstairs. I'm gonna start in this big room. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Nice knowing you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
children to increase from the study on. Anybody in here with me? How's everyone doing over on this side of the building? You making noises back there? Upstairs, down that hallway, kind of by where Wally Bear is. Um, I'm just walking around and I'm hearing these, been hearing the settling, the building settling noises all night, but now I'm just getting random knocks and bumps that are kind of following me around. So, I just heard a knock on the door for over here. You following me around? I hear you walking out there in the hallway. Can you come in here and talk to me? I feel like you were following me around, knocking on things to get my attention. Could you knock on something in here for me? Okay, I think I just heard footsteps out the hallway there. Sound like something was walking out the hallway. I can hear you out in the hallway. Is this where you like to hang out? Was that a response to my question? So I can tell you like to make noises out here. I'm hearing those footsteps again, but I'm looking right down the hallway. And I don't see anything. I'm hearing noises on both sides of me now, coming from both hallways, and I'm looking in that back room over there and I swear, I just saw something blacked out, part of the light over there. It was really low to the ground, and it was really fast, but trying to recreate it with my light. And doesn't work. I just heard it sounded like a locker door. I don't know, a lot of noises. Haven't had much much inter interaction with the equipment. But there's definitely a lot of noises happening. trying to look down this hallway, they say that sometimes you can see what looks to be something peeking out of doorways. I'm trying to experience that. Oh. 
sound like movement from up these stairs here. I don't know, I know some of it is the building settling, but you know, we've been here quite a while already. We hit the upstairs pretty hard. And I got kind of familiar with the setting sounds, and some of these are kind of different, so. Can't say that it's paranormal, but it's interesting. It's literally, I just heard somebody walking down this hallway right towards me, and I can clearly see that there's nobody there. And it was very clear. Just got a whole bunch of noises. It sounded like maybe a door shutting. Not a heavy one. It wasn't like a slam or anything. It was like a light door shutting. Followed by what? I mean, my ears might be deceiving me, but it sounded like heavy breathing or grunting. Followed by more knocks. No, just kind of uh, melee sounds there. children. It's just us ladies now. Somebody by me. It's now up to 88.3. It's gone up two degrees. Really? Yeah. Why are you seeing so much I have one in my hand. <coughs> Who's being off and chill? Which I'm totally fine with. But I feel like I can feel you around me. Now it's up to 90.1 and my legs are freaking so chilled right now. Really? Yes. Every time I get the chills, the temperature goes up. 